good afternoon folks welcome to creative cooking in Ani's kitchen I'm your host Ani and what we do here in creative cooking is just that we get creative with cooking we take ordinary recipes we add our own twists and touches to it and make them our own uh, Today, I'm going to bring you beef goulash, and this is actually Wolfgang's recipe, and I got it off of Food Wishes, and I'm just going to add my touches, like I said, this is creative cooking, and uh, I've already washed my hands, here's the beef stew, I rinsed it out to where most of the blood is out of there, um, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and lightly season this. Let me tell you what you're going to need. You're going to need some olive oil. You're going to need some uh, onions. I'm going to use onions and bell and red peppers. And to your taste, as many as you want. Or just cut up one onion, whatever you want. All right, then we're going to go ahead and saute the onions in the olive oil. And we're going to... Uh, with some uh, additional olive oil after we sear the meat. And in that same pan and pot, in the same room, we're going to go ahead and uh, saute the onions. We're going to put the beef and the onions together. And then we're going to saute in that same pan some ground caraway and paprika with some other seasoning. We're going to toast it and then we're going to deglaze it with some beef broth, about a cup, and uh, well, we're going to make two cups. We're going to pour in one cup, and then we're going to pour uh, that deglazing uh, beef broth with all that papri toasted paprika and caraway and other seasonings into the pot with the stew um, meat. And then we're going to add tomato paste or tomato sauce, whatever you have and crushed garlic. I'm gonna add some sofrito. I'm gonna add a bay leaf, possibly some fresh uh, basil. And I'm gonna add about another half a cup of the two cup broth. One teaspoon of blackstrap molasses, just to tone down the acidity levels. One teaspoon of soy sauce, marsala wine, Worcestershire sauce, and steak sauce. We're gonna heat it on high until it boils. Then we're going to lower it and let it simmer without the top for about an hour and a half. We're going to wait until all that liquid evaporates and it, the sauce will thicken. And then that'll be done. It should be done about an hour and a half. You want to where it to where the meat can be forked, like you can stick your fork into it, but it doesn't fall apart. Okay, so be careful about the sizes you chunk out of your beef, uh, your chuck roast or whatever you start out with. All right. I'm going to get me a glove because I am going to lightly season my beef stew with some adobo, using about a tablespoon of adobo. And some flour, about a tablespoon of flour. And just give it a good mix in there. Okay. Just like so. A little bit more flour. I just grabbed about a handful, so I'm gonna say two tablespoons of flour. Okay, just to get that meat nice and coated. Okay. Alright. Now you can serve this over a better white rice. Egg noodles, I'm using, and I've already got them cooked, bow tie, only because bow tie is firm and, you know, it holds 
the wetness of the beef stew and the sauce very well. So into my mouth that went. Mmm, <laughs> firmness is great. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna get my saucepan. And in here, I'm gonna sear my meat. Turn this on to about eight because again, we're searing. So that means high heat. Olive oil, about two tablespoons, extra virgin olive oil or EVOO. Okay. And this is nice and coated. See, you can tell when it's nice and coated because it's you can see a film of white on there. Okay, with just a little sprinkle of adobo is all I did. I haven't put in all the major seasonings yet. We want to sear this first. Okay, so let me go ahead and take this glove off. And while that pan is heating up, which won't take long, we'll go ahead and make our beef stock. You can use chicken. And I want two cups of it. Some cold water. And two cups. Let me put it so where we can see one another. Okay. Not two tablespoons about this. Okay. That should be good. now to about a six and go ahead and dump in this meat. Actually I'm gonna leave the heat up to an eight. Seems to do well with an eight. up our beef stock or beef bouillon this is going to be a pretty quick recipe other than the cooking time for the beef other than that getting it together man if you defrost that meat, just take it out before you go to work. You know, come home, meat is soft, just rinse it out. Season it, get to searing it. And, uh, Add your, uh, get to see, you know, make make your stock here, your beef broth, rather.
Okay, here's my touch. I'm gonna put some masala wine in with that beef. Oh, it's brazen. Oh, it's searing. Okay, so you sear that. I would say for about mm, maybe 12 minutes, six minutes on each side, I guess. I like to just unstick it every once in a while and just start it like that, then let it sit again, and like two or three times doing that. And then it gets seared nicely. So, okay, once the meat is seared, into the pot it goes. And right into that very pot, we're gonna lower the heat to about a six. Put a little bit of oil. and peppers or just onions. So that'll float your boat. About a cup. in there that I have yet to use and have it. I don't want it to go bad. I feel like I can toss them in. Oh, this one go completely bad. Oh, yeah. Get that roof from the bottom. Oh yeah, that's some good stuff right there. Then we're going to move our pan over here. We're going to pour this. Look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Put some light on this. Oh, yeah. OK, 
Okay, we're gonna do. About a tablespoon of sofrito. going to put in a tablespoon of tomato paste. And about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. About a teaspoon of soy sauce. A tablespoon of steak sauce. And instead of sugar, we are going to put a teaspoon of black strap molasses. Just like so. For seasoning, this is from my garden, some basil, a few leaves. some more. Cilantro. About a teaspoon. Onion powder. About half a teaspoon. Garlic powder, about half a teaspoon. Sazon, about half a teaspoon. Turmeric, about a teaspoon. Oregano. About a teaspoon. I always have to open this up for some reason. Okay. And cumin. About a teaspoon. Okay. 
Okay. Now, we're going to stir this around. And before we add any salt, and add the rest of the beef uh, broth. Okay. All I do is rinse that out. Okay. So now we're going to give this a taste to check for salt. It does not need any. So now we're going to go ahead and let this come to a high boil before we simmer. I'll bring you back as soon as it reaches a high boil. Okay, it is at a high heat. On a high boil, now we're going to lower it to about a two. Oh my God, that's so perfect. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna leave that be for an hour and 30 minutes. And I'll bring you back. Okay guys, now it's time to saute the caraway and smoked paprika or Spanish paprika or both. Absolutely. Toasty, toasty. And we'll throw that in. And that'll give it that beautiful flavor we're looking for. So, we're going to do a teaspoon of caraway seeds. Now, you could grind that up. I like the toasty, toastiness, the aroma, and the taste that it gives. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to do a mix of, you can do cayenne too if you like, but I'm going to do a mix of smoked, this, my smoked, I mean, this, my regular Spanish. Paprika, see, and then oh, yeah, then I'm going to do my little bit of smoked. Put a little bit of smoked paprika. 
get it off the heat and just start. And add that. To the stew. Oh yeah. So that's in there, so now you just gotta wait till everything comes together. Be back. Okay, so turn on a little bit of light here. So you can see the sauce is thickened up quite a bit. I want it just a little bit more. And of course, when sauce thickens, that's why I didn't add any salt. When salt thickens, things get a little bit, you start to taste the seasoning even more. So we want to taste. This is a nice thickness. Look at that. See that? Mm. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Oh, perfect. So good. I think I like it just like that. That's nice and thick. It will hold well with the bow tie. You got to take care of some important business. So, turning this off, getting ready to play. because it holds the wet better. Kind of, everything kind of sticks to it better. So, let me go ahead and plate this. Show you the magic. Oh, look at that thickness and richness. Oh, yes.
Yes. I think we have something here. Again, you see this richness with the sauce? There's the beef stewed meat, the chunks of beef. Okay. And I'll bring you back for the plated presentation. Here we go, folks. There is our beef goulash plated with the pretty bow tie. Doesn't that look appealing? Oh, yeah, that's going to be so good. Look at that. Look at all that flavor. Oh, yes. Beautiful dish. Just absolutely gorgeous. Mmm. All right. Well, that's what's for dinner in creative cooking in Ani's kitchen. That's what's for dinner in my kitchen tonight, folks. Make yourself this recipe. I promise you, you're going to enjoy it. Your family is going to love it. It is so tasty, so delicious, so easy to make. Like I said, the only long process in this dish right here is just cooking it down, just an hour and a half. So you get home from work, throw that puppy on there in that pot and just let it simmer down, okay? No time to bake the pasta. You got yourself a delicious gourmet meal. Yes, absolutely. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That is delicious. Till the next one, you all take care of yourselves and one another. Don't forget to like, please, this recipe. Poke that subscribe button. Ding, ding. Turn on that notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload another one of my tasty, delicious recipes. Until the next one, you all get creative in that kitchen. You hear? I'll see you later. God bless you all. Take care of yourselves and one another.